Hi, I'm Luke Streeter, co-founder and chief delivery officer at Flinder. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to utilize tracking categories in Xero. It's a really key area in Xero to segment your data, whether you're looking at market, customer, geography split, or however you need to segment the data in your business. In this short video, I'll go through how you set them up, how you then assign them, and then also how you report on it. Right, let's get into showing you how to do it in Xero. So I'll be using the demo company, with which you can access through My Zero or Zero HQ. So the first thing to do is set tracking categories up. So you go to accounting, advanced tracking categories, and you can also mark it as a favorite so it always appears in the menu. Within here, you can have up to two ca tracking categories. And here you can see they've already got regions set up. You can edit options or you can rename them uh, or you can add one, of course. If you need more than two tracking categories, there is also a hack to get around this, which perhaps I'll show you in a different video. So once we've set the tracking categories up, you then need to allocate on bills, invoices, and journal entries. So invoices and bills are done in a very similar manner. So if I go into invoices, you'll see within any of the invoice screens, there's an additional column for your tracking categories. So here we can see region, and then if I click, you can see the different options. Uh, each line in an invoice can be allocated to a different region. For bills, it works in exactly the same way as I say, so I won't demonstrate that. Similarly, if you go into the journal screen within Xero, you'll see that there's an option for the region to be applied, and you can apply this to any journal entries that you wish. And the third part I want to show you is how to report on it in Xero. So in profit and loss reporting, you have the old style and new style reports. It's either under filters or different options that you can select to see the different tracking categories. So here, if I go into the older style report, you'll see that I can go to more options and select to see all of the tracking categories. It will show it in a nice comma report as I'm showing you here. In the new style reports, you can also do uh, custom edits and customize a report if you wish. So on here, you see there's also an unassigned column. So there's two different approaches to unassigned. So either you can go with the approach that everything in Xero has to be tagged in the profit and loss to a different uh, tracking category, so in our instance here of regions, or alternatively, you can decide that items don't have to always be tagged and they'll be left in the unassigned. Personal approach is that everything would always be assigned. And in this instance, you may wish to actually create like a, a central bucket or a centralized cost. And therefore, if costs are across the entire business, you can allocate them to the central bucket. If you are using the unassigned option, then actually the unassigned may be your grouping for centralized business costs. If you are going down the route of tagging everything as part of a month and close process, it'd be a really good idea to add it to a checklist to make sure it's never missed. I hope you found this short video useful. Get in contact on Twitter, LinkedIn, or through our website. Also check out our ebook of 10 common mistakes startups make whilst using Xero, and you can check out the other videos which should be linked above.